Mom always told me to be a good boy, but the world said I could be anything I wanted to be, which is great, because I want to be a problem. No, I won't dive into sex, drugs, or gender confusion. To the world, that would make me a good little boy. I will learn formal logic and adhere firmly to the concept of objective truth. I will commit myself absolutely to the authority of the Word of God and make friends with Augustine, Luther, Calvin, Chesterton, Lewis, and the U.S. Constitution. I hope to grow up and love only one woman, a woman at least as clear-thinking and rebellious in this world as I will be, who knows where true beauty lies and who will never let me stop striving to be the biggest problem I can be. I will give my life for hers and aim to have a family large enough to require specialty automobiles. We will worship in a church unashamed of the gospel and live in a community of families doing the same. I will work myself to the bone providing for my family and I will make sure my kids all fall in love with Narnia and Middle Earth, that they will all know how to think, that evolution will make them giggle, <laughs> and rainbows will make them think of Noah and his archiarchy. Like I said, I will be a problem, immune to all that is hip and trendy and now. Singing songs that are centuries old, savoring good wine and great whiskey, dancing and laughing and feasting while the enemies of God scowl and glower in shelter in place. Hey little boy, the world says, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a metastasizing cancer of conservative Christian culture, devouring Marx's impotent progressive dream and building a resurrected Western world. I want to be a stomper of stupid sandcastles, an exposer of poisonous lies, I want my life to be a monument to the triune creator God who made us all. The kind of monument you and yours will never be able to tear down. Oh, and a farmer. Thanks for asking. New St. Andrews College. Liberal Arts for Outlaws.